You may have seen my idea about the butt pack here in the front, but what about this empty space underneath the seat? Let me show you how to make a do-it-yourself slide-out tray. Welcome back. If you're new to the channel, we cover kayak modifications, spin, and fly fishing. So poke that subscribe button so you don't miss anything. Even though in an earlier video I discussed the butt pack idea for additional storage in front of your seat, there's still all this ideal space underneath the seat that could hold stuff, you know, like a couple Plano boxes and things like that that you may want to get at periodically. The first thing, obviously, you need to do is take a measurement on width and length to see what kind of a tray, you know, what the size should be to fit underneath your seat. I did that, and on this Kuza, I've got about 18 inches and about 22 inches in depth. So what I did, then did is I went to Walmart, and I'm sure you could go to the dollar store as well, and I picked up one of these containers for about $5.50. Now, there's two parts of this that you could actually use. I, the easiest thing to use, of course, is the top because I measured this and it'll slide underneath my seat just fine. But the disadvantage of the top is you don't have much of a lip here going around the side. So if that's an issue, you could take the bottom and then you could cut off the bottom part to make a deeper tray if you need it. But that's not the end of the idea. Hopefully you're able to hear this. You hear all that noise? That's the noise of this thing sliding out against the plastic of the kayak. So what I've got to do is put some soundproofing on the bottom of this thing so I don't scare any fish. So for about seven bucks, I went to Walmart. <laughs> I actually did all this in one trip. And I got one of these three millimeter yoga mats. And I'm going to cut off a chunk of this and I'm going to put it on the bottom of this tray and that way it'll be buffered and I won't have the noise. So let me show you the trick of attaching this to this because it's not as easy as you think. Since this is plastic, it's sometimes hard to find an adhesive that will bind anything to it. But what I've discovered is this Loctite spray adhesive, a high performance bonding. I only think I need the middle grade at 200 to stick this to that. And basically, I'm just gonna spray it on, spray it on this, wait a couple minutes for it to set up, and then attach it. Let me show you. No real rocket science here. Now there was a lip around the top of the shelf, and that's why I'm only spraying the edges. I cut out a middle, and you can see the uh, form that I'm gonna put on it to the right-hand side. I also ended up putting a center section in, in case I put anything heavy on the tray that would make the center bend down and scrape against my kayak. Basically just spray it, let it sit a couple minutes, and then join the two pieces together, let it sit overnight, and you're done. All done. Now let's see if we've solved the noise problem. Much quieter. And I love the fact that I can pull this all the way out to the front of my drive unit. And you may notice that I drilled a couple holes on either side and I can use those to hold in the Plano boxes just like the original tray had. And here's the flash of the obvious after I got done with all that for you Jackson Kuza FD users. Just take your tray, undo it from the boat, remove the two bolts that go in this slot right here and then just slide it in and if you reverse it it'll work just fine so up to you but either way if you leave this in you need to put that soundproofing on the bottom so there we go you can do this probably on any seat that has any room underneath what's your perspective throw in the comments below thanks